<laughs> Are you serious? Today I want to make a video showing you my garage, my future plans, and if we have time, we'll do a quick mod of my car. Let's get to it. It's so hard to record when you have this guy walking around doing noises. Are you gonna let me record or not? Huh? Are you gonna let me record? Hmm? Alright guys, this is the garage right here. We have the car, 2016 Hellcat. We have a 240. What year is it? 1990. 1990. So we got some seats. We're gonna be installing those pretty soon. Pretty stoked. The car has uh, car seat covers. We haven't taken them off because we're kind of afraid of the condition they're gonna be in. So we'll see. I'm gonna show you my garage. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube where the garage are pretty nice, pretty organized. I'm not. I'm not pretty proud of this one. And uh, guess what? I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna make some shelves. I don't know if I'm going to sign them in this channel or maybe make another channel for it. Let me know. But uh, I'm thinking pretty sure I'll probably put them in here to show you progress. I've been doing a lot of stuff in my house by myself. Uh, kind of do uh, do yourself guy. And oh, let me show you guys something real quick. Hey, show them the part you guys got for the car. There's a steering column, brand spanking new. The one this one has, it just, it looks like a water gun. It sprays every time you drive it around. That's why we haven't been driving anywhere. But we're gonna be installing that. Um, car seats, what else do you wanna do? What else do you think we're doing in the car? Rims. Oh yeah, rims. It's a four lug, four, four lug, right? Yeah see right here and that's gonna be interesting doing all right so this is the engine bay right here um i have to uh probably lift the car i'm i'm happy i bought that lift jack so it's called right lift jack jacket jacket lift <laughs> whatever it's called i right, cut that out you just all start right. over yeah this is the engine bay right here uh, we're gonna lift the car. I'm gonna go underneath the, the engine and uh, remove that um, uh, It's an o-ring and uh, I think it's called a, a cross uh, washer And uh, we'll be doing that in a minute Okay, we're underneath the car And this is the transmission right here And this is the oxygen sensor plug we're gonna have to remove that to have access to that clip that holds the holes for the clutch so let me point it again it's right here we have to remove this so the best way to do it is I'm gonna squeeze right here with your thumb and just pull back and there you go see that get that out of the way and then this right here, we can just move it this way. And there we go. We're going to be able to get it right there. Now what we got to do is remove this clip. Then put your finger right here. Can you see my finger? You don't lose it. There you go. That's the clip. Take the clip out. Now, I think this is gonna drip all over us. So let me put it right here. Make sure it doesn't fall on top of the camera. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. There we go. I fell in my eye. As I'm blind, I can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up so it doesn't leak. There we go. I grab that right there. That's the O-ring. See it? There. Okay. 
There we go. See it? Yeah. Grab that. So all I'm gonna do now is plug this again. Just put it in there. Done. Okay, now what I gotta do now is put back the retaining pin. Hold on. There, just push the pin in. There we go. Secure. Now what we're gonna do is uh, connect back the oxygen sensor. It's right here. And all done. I'm just gonna clean a little bit, wipe it down, make sure there's no fluids in there. And uh, this is this removal is complete. All right, so this is the parts we took off. This is like the O ring right here. Oops. And this is the this is the cross uh, washer, I guess. And these are the parts we got to remove. We're done with the removal of that part. The best thing about it is that it was free and now we're going to go for a test drive. But before we do a test drive, we got to move these vehicles out here. So uh, I'm not going to show you that, but we're going to move it and we'll get back to you. Hey, I was about to test drive the car. I've moved the vehicle over there. And guess who parks right here? My wife, so it's a little delay. Hey more <laughs> All right guys, the removal of the clutch delay valve was done. It was pretty quick, pretty quick. Um, I did it in uh, what, less than half an hour? Mm, 20 minutes? 15 minutes. 15 minutes and uh, it was hard because uh, try to get the lighting underneath the car and and we try to record it for you. But if, if, if it wasn't for that, we probably would have done it probably like in 10 minutes. Um, I haven't test driven the car yet. I'm waiting for my son. I'm gonna take him to work But just just taking the vehicle from the garage to To right in front of the house. I can feel a big difference. So I can't wait to take it on the highway Take it to the back roads and see how the clutch is gonna perform um, so far Well, I only driven in the, like what what's that like? Not even not even 50 yards and I can really feel the difference but uh I'll keep you updated. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. I think it was a it was a good decision to do it. Um, if not, it, it should be easy to put it back on. You know, it's it's not that not that hard. It's, it's very easy to do. Even if you don't have any mechanical skills, guarantee you can do it. Guarantee you, it's easy. Wow, I'm loving it. Should feel like, it should feel like it. it should feel like it I know it's getting kind of dark go right go right backwards I know it's getting kind of dark so uh
you have to do this. You have to. I I guarantee, I guarantee you're gonna love it. My first car was a manual. I drove in a lot of manual cars, and this one was was kind of different. Okay. Um, I I'm assuming that just because it was a brand new car. But now, now it, it has that feeling of a manual, true manual car. And I'm not even driving no, crazy or nothing. I'm just driving normal. And I'm loving it, telling you that. I gotta say that, but I'm, I'm I'm impressed. I like the big. It's a big change. You're gonna feel it. Day day one of installation. A um, lot more things to come. If you want to see any mods, stay tuned. Please hit subscribe, like, and uh, see you in the next video.